Okay, this podcast is over how to do the cat lab. So you may need to look through this a couple of times. Of course, you'll have your direction sheet in front of you. But what the confusing part is, is do I flip one coin, two coins? How do I read it? Especially when you start getting into the coloration, dealing with the orange and the tortoise shell. So um, be looking at your table as we go through this. Um, so if you need to make yourself any notes, you can. So first thing you're going to do is you'll find a partner and then you'll determine who's going to be the mother and who's going to be the father cat. You can either flip a coin or just decide. It does not really matter, even though it says here to flip a coin. Now you notice I have went ahead and put in heads and tails, just more of a visual aid for you. So what you'll first do, the, whoever the father cat is, we need to determine what color of coat you will have. So you're going to flip just one of the coins. So you will each have a penny, okay? So if the dad flips a head, then you're going to write for the orange cat an X, Y, because that's for male. And to show orange, we have a superscript O, and we're going to draw a line underneath it to show it's a capital letter. If you flip a tail, you're going to be a black cat. Again, X, Y denotes a male, and we have a lowercase superscript O, and you notice how it's behind the X. Nothing is behind the Y, okay, in this instance. And we didn't put a line under it just so we can tell which is the capital and which is the lowercase. So the dad's going to write their first and last name here, and then I just showed the penny here. So the genotype, the XY with the O, those are genotypes. Pheno would be the actual color orange or black, okay? Okay, I think my pen not, it's not working. Okay, now to the mom, we're going to toss both coins. So she'll need to take that coin from dad. Um, so we're going to toss both coins. And XX denotes a female. So you notice that the superscript behind each X is a capital O. We put an underline underneath it. If you get that combination, the genotype is going to be orange. Tortoise shell is kind of a combination of orange, black, maybe a little bit of white, kind of spotty tortoise color. Um, so X capital O with an underline, X lowercase o, and those are both superscript. Or, and you get to choose here, um, if it's a tail tail, then you can choose to be either a black or brown cat. It does not matter. So that's X lowercase o, X lowercase o. And so here's the penny combination, two heads, head tail, tail tail. So it shows you both the geno and the pheno for two heads. Um, this would be like a heterozygous head tail to tortoise. So that's why there's a capital O and lowercase o for heterozygous. And then you can choose black or brown two tails. Okay, let's go to our next page. Here we go. Okay, now for each kitten, we're gonna have three kittens per couple and we're going to determine the geno and phenotype and you're going to do this for all the kittens, so a total of three kittens. So I'm breaking the table down. So the first, you may notice is number one, we have the hair color as black for your first kitten and you'll fill in your table and then you'll come and get the corresponding, I already drew out the cat so you just need to worry about the coloring and you'll tape it on the bottom and color with color pencils but we'll definitely do that part in class and you'll do the coin flipping with your partner in class. Okay. So if the dad throws a head and a mom throws a head, so you each throw a coin, because remember, it's a probability. You're each giving an allele. That's what the representation of the pennies mean. So head from mom, head from dad. The genotype is two big Bs. It's going to be a black kitten. If it's a head tail, and it doesn't matter if it comes from mom or dad, if you have a head tail combination, it will also be black, because the black will mask the recessive trait of brown. So it'll be black. And if you both throw tails, it'll be brown, two or lowercase b's. So that one's pretty straightforward. Okay, now here's where it starts getting a little confusing. Okay, for the second trait, so now we're gonna throw the coins for the second trait. Just move down the table as you throw the coins. Hair color. Orange is a sex-linked trait. 
which means it's going to be carried on the X allele. Okay? So, the first toss is by the dad only. So, if dad throws a tails, okay, so here's my tails, and the mom, the second toss is going to be by the mom only if the dad throws a Y or the tail. Okay? So dad, if you throw a tail, the mom needs to then toss her coin. If that's the case and mom gets a heads, the kitten will be orange. Okay? So in this case, since the Y is coming from dad, that's the tail, and then the mom, if she throws a heads, I should have put an underline right there, then what it's going to do is what happens since it's X linked is that allele, that orange, will convert black or brown to orange. So that orange color will cover up black or brown. And we're going to be looking at that from that first row of first tosses. Okay, so here's our combination that you would get black that would be covered up. If she also, mom throws a tail also, then my genotype is X lowercase o, Y is from dad. I would then look at row one, and that would be the color of the kitten. So it would either be a black or brown kitten. Okay? So I'd look in the upper row, and depending on what I got, if I got big B, big B, little b, then that kitten will be black. If in the first row I got two little b's, then that kitten will be brown. Okay. Now, that's if the dad threw a tail. If dad tosses one coin, okay, then his toss he will give an X, which means you have a little girl. The other one was a little boy, so now we have a little girl. Because remember the dad determines the sex of the offspring. Okay, so if dad throws a head, then he's going to give an X and they're going to have a little girl. Now, mom would then toss both coins. So she'll take the one coin from dad, toss both coins, and you can see there's a lot of different combinations here. Okay, so when she tosses the both coins together, then if it's heads, heads, it'll be orange. Head, tail, orange with some black patches, kind of that tortoise shell, and that's where that comes from. And if you throw two tails, then again, I'll go back to number one trait and determine is it black or brown. Okay. That's the most confusing one where you'll have to do a couple of multiple uh, tosses. From here on out, everything's the same, so I'll go through this rather quickly. Okay, now I'm going to look at the third trait, tossing. So, again, mom would have one coin, dad would have another coin. Now I'm looking if it has white spots, which is an incomplete dominance. Okay, so two heads, white spots on more than half the cat. Just kind of eyeball it when you're coloring it. Heterozygous, white spots less than half, and it can be you know, spread out over the cat, doesn't need to be in all one spot. And if you, mom throws a tail, dad throws a tail, then there are no white spots. Okay, then for the fourth trait, for the length of the tail, this one is actually a dominant lethal trait. So, if they both throw heads, that means, unfortunately, your little baby kitten did not make it. It was um, a stillborn kitten. So, to represent, and I'll go over this in class, to show that it did not make it, that you did throw two heads, you're going to put little X's on its eyes, but you'll still color everything in. It's just stillborn. And it will have a short tail. To live and have a short tail, it would be heterozygous, and a normal tail would be two lowercase m's, or two tails. The fifth trait is on fur. How long is the fur? Two heads is long, or excuse me, two heads would be short fur, so you color within the lines. Um, short fur would also be heterozygous, and if it's long fur, then just kind of scribble outside the line. That would be two tails. Okay. The type of ears, um, Scottish fold, they're kind of just like flapped over. You see this more commonly in dogs than you do cats. So two heads would be folded over, the same thing for a head-tail combination, and then regular ears just standing up would be two tails. Seventh trait, uh, the number of toes, uh, they call it polydactyle. So to be homozygous dominant or heterozygous would be extra toes. So they look like little catcher mitts. I actually had a cat when I was um, first married that had that. 
problem with these cats is they do have a short lives, life expectancy because um, of heart defects, which we didn't know at the time, but that gene is coupled with heart defects. So normal toes, what a normal kitten looks like four, um, would be two tails. Okay, so that concludes. Uh, if you, I would recommend going back and looking at that second trait because there's a lot of combinations. Make sure you understand that when you get to class. Let me go back to this. Um, dealing with that sex link trait, that seems to be the one's a little confusing. So in class, we'll do the coin toss with your partner. So if you want to predetermine that before you get to class, we'll collect all the data. I'm not going over this table in class. It's expected to do it now um, with the assignment. We'll get our tosses. You'll get your kittens, and then you can start your coloring. And then if you need to finish that for homework, you can. But I want to give you enough time in class so that if you wanted to finish it and turn it in, you can. Okay, so you know, feel free to review this if you need to. Talk to you later.